Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to create a tilt shift picture in Photoshop. And here, let me pull up Google real quick just to show you some examples of tilt shift pictures. And here's one of a few houses. It's gonna give you that like little toy uh, miniature model feel to it. And these are real houses, you know, this is like an aerial uh, angle top down view. And here, I think I saw another one that was a really good example. I think it was like of a city. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a really good one. So this is, I'm assuming overseas, like in London or something, but this is a real bridge, it's real water, real boats, but it does give you that effect of like, it's a miniature, you know, toy town or, or little miniature toys. And so that is the effect that we're gonna be going for with um, Photoshop today. So I do have a few pictures open in Photoshop. I'm just gonna pull that up real quick. And this is the picture that we are going to be using. And I got this picture off of pexels.com. And I'll let you pause the screen right here just to show you exactly um, how you can use these pictures. So let's see. So this video is not sponsored. It's just one of the many free stock websites that I like to use. And so I did pull this picture from there. And I do have a few options here. Um, or a few pictures that I have already edited and so when I'm done with this one I'll show you those as well and so once you um, file open your picture it's gonna pop up like that we're just gonna go over here to the layers tab and we're gonna click that little lock button to unlock it we're gonna unlock the layer and normally this is just out of habit I like to do this I'm gonna duplicate the layer I'm gonna change this one to original just for the sake of this video. And I don't normally name my layers, but instead I like to co color coordinate them. And I like to put that red tag on the original picture. And that's just my brain telling me, you know, don't touch that one. That's the original, don't mess with it, don't touch it. If, you know, I'm 50 steps later and I don't like what I'm doing, I can always revert back to the original but we're gonna be editing this one right here. And first things first, we're gonna right click and we're gonna convert it to a smart object. So whenever we convert it to a smart object, any layers, um, any filters that we do on this layer, we are going to be able to edit them at any time. So we don't have to control Z and backtrack you know, 20 steps to edit um, this layer. We'll just be able to do that at any time. And so we'll go up here to filter and blur gallery and we're gonna go to tilt shift. So you're gonna go ahead and click that. And I'm gonna run down the options real quick. So anything from the solid line to the solid line, anything in here, that is gonna be your focal point. Um, there's not gonna be any blurring going on in between those two lines. And you can actually, if you go down here and you see that little arrow, you can actually twist it so you can twist where you want your um, field of view to be and I'm just gonna undo that I am going to move it around you can move it around wherever you want your focal point to be I think I'm gonna do around here and so anything from the solid lines to the dotted lines that is gonna be like the the gradient from zero blur to whatever blur percentage you choose and then anything um, past the dotted line, that's all going to be out of focus. That's not going to be the focal point. And you can change, you can move these dotted lines wherever you like. Um, it does depend on the picture you choose and exactly your preferences and what you're going for. But I normally don't like to add these dotted lines real close to the solid line um, just because it creates more of there. I'll bump this up real quick. If you bump that all the way up to like 200, you're gonna see that it creates that real quick um, blur line. And that creates a super um, unnatural feel to the picture. And you can, your brain is immediately telling you that this is a, you know, an edited fit, a picture, super edited picture. But even though that is super high up, see, once you move those further away, it's, it's not as harsh. And so actually I'll undo that. Um, let me bring this down. 
I'm going to bring this down to normally, I like to bring it down to like the 30s, um, possibly bring it up to like 40. And then I'm going to bring this down a little bit, or up, sorry. And I'm going to bring this down. And I think I like the look of that. And you can also change the blur um, up here. You can manually in input it, or you can move the slider. And then the distortion, um, I don't mess with distortion because it creates a sense of movement. And if you're taking a picture of um, toys, there's not any movement in that. You know, there's still, um, like Legos, for example, they're not moving. You know, the Lego men are standing straight up. The cars are placed um, in a non-movement position. So we don't really want to add movement to this because then it kind of defeats the purpose of making it look like a miniature, you know, toy model. Um, but just for the sake of video, I will um, explain exactly real quick. If you move it to the left, by default, it's going to give you everything on the lower end, the bottom half. Um, it's going to create like a spin effect. Here, I'll, I'll bring this up. It's going to create like this, this swinging spin effect, and we don't like that. Um, like I said, by default, it's only going to be on the bottom. If you click the symmetric distortion, it'll apply that to the top as well. So, and then if we go um, in the positives, it's going to create a zoom effect. And again, we don't want that. That's um, not what we're going for. And then by default, this is going to pop up the effects. We're not going to mess with that. We're going to go over to noise, and I'm going to bump that up to like the 30-ish. Um, just That's just me personally. I do like the noise um, feature. It gives it that, that photographic feel, in my opinion. And we're going to click high quality. Click OK at the top. And then we are going to add a, down here at the layers panel, we're going to add a saturation layer. And we're going to bump that saturation up a little bit. We're going to bring that to like the 40s. I think that looks good. I only say that because it's going to make the colors pop. And usually with like toy models, um, if you do have lights like in your toy houses, it's going to be an LED, LED light. And as you can see here, this is starting to look like LEDs placed inside your toy model um, buildings. And so I'll zoom out a little I'll zoom out a little bit. And here you see we have a picture of possibly New York. Um, looks like a real picture, looks like someone took it from aerial view, maybe with a drone or something. And then you add in the tilt shift, and then you add in the saturation, and there you have it. It looks like a toy model, toy, you know, toy buildings. And as you can see, here's the, um, the smart filter. You can actually double click that, and you can edit this at any time. You can, you can bump that to 50. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, I don't know, don't like it, gonna backtrack. And so I did. I do have another um, few pictures that I already edited just to show you what they look like. So here's another picture of New York. Here's the original. Um, it's not really a focal point here. And boom, and boom. And then here's another one. Um, this is actually a bad example of what to do or what to what kind of picture to use for a tilt shift just because there's so much negative space there's not a lot of detail up here there's not a lot of detail here um, and so once you add it it doesn't really give that toy model feel but I do like the saturation just gives it a little pop um, I mean it makes for a great picture just not that it doesn't look like a toy island it just looks like a um, an island that's super um, has a super strong focal point and if we go here here's another good example um, a lot of detail here and here's the last one this one was already a pretty good picture before the editing um, but as you can see you know this is real cars real houses and possibly already edited don't not really sure about that tilt shift 
saturation. Um, saturation gives it that toy feel, and there you have it. So you can pull some pictures off pixels, or you can use your own, mess around with the tilt shift for um, whatever you're looking for. Thanks.